Hello everyone, Frozen Course here, and welcome back to some more Pokemon Coliseum. In the last episode, we made our way through Pirate Town and ended up catching two, uh, Shadow Pokemon. Yeah, we found out the reason why Rui was being kidnapped and everything, and, uh, yeah, it led us all the way here to Pirate Town to find out more, I guess? So, if you're enjoying this series and you want to see more, be sure to like down below and subscribe if you haven't already. Okay, so we talked to the cop, the, the, that cop duo. And apparently there's some kind of power struggle happening over here. So I guess we're just gonna have to, I don't know, uncover it, I suppose? I don't know. Oh, hello. Oh, look, what do we have here? You're quite the hottie. Hey, yo! Why don't you lose that wallflower with you and be my sweetie? Excuse me? <laughs> Wait a second, who are, you call who are you to call me a wallflower? What makes me a wallflower? <laughs> Look at her. She's all serious, uncool. I'm only teasing out of boredom. A guy like him, he's not to my taste. Ugh, that's it. I'm furious now. Wes, be a man. Stomp her down. Whoa, whoa, hey, yo. <laughs> Stomp? Who? Me? <laughs> that's a laugh. Come on, then. I'll go easy on you. Did I? I... 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 I just... Okay. Well... I wonder if I can get the other starters besides Bayleaf. Uh oh, okay. When do. Uh, I keep forgetting when they tell you which is a Shadow Pokemon or not. Okay, so no Shadow Pokemon at the moment. Uh. Who's the bigger threat? Clearly the Zoo Pad, right? Because that thing will most likely has Wing Attack at this point. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Espeon- having Espeon and Umbreon as like starter Pokemon is so busted. That's so crazy. That's impressive, that's just, that's just awesome. Like, the funny thing is, like, those two are actually like, in my top five evolutions, to be honest with you. Like, I love- I, I, I love- I love, uh... I love, um, Umbreon more, but... Yeah, I guess Espeon's pretty good, too. Until you get to Sylveon, because Sylveon kind of does Espeon's job a little bit better. And it only has, like, what? Two weaknesses? Compared to Espeon? So, yeah. <laughs> and Sylveon kills dragons. So. <laughs> Alright, well, that... Well, I did it. <laughs> I, I stomped her for you, Rui. What kind of man battles a frail girl like me without easing up? You're not going to win the hearts of girls that way. Okay. <laughs> it's like, well. Wes, it was he here in this square that I saw that strange Pokemon. I tried to leave town afterwards, and that's when those creeps grabbed me. We should be careful. Even at the best of times, there's nothing normal about this town. Oh. So I guess I have to fight my way over, maybe? I don't know. Oh, hello. This windmill generates electricity for powering the Colosseum. It may look a little worse for wear, but it's still going strong in active service. Okay. Large gears are rotating. Oh, for 30 long years I've spun these gears. Oh, what's with you, younglings? Do you want to spin gears too? Yes? <laughs> Not to disappoint you, but this isn't a job that anyone can just pick up. Give it another 20 years, then come back. <laughs> Alright. Alright, well, that's... So that's the generator room. Do I have to like, how do I know who I'm supposed to fight? Uh, this is very, very different from like, main Pokemon games where, you know, they basically be like, oh, I see you, fight me. Uh, battle, battle is so much fun. Pokemon battles for everyone. Battles bring me so much joy. Let's get started, little boy. Hey, yo, Granny? Oh, no, that's not a granny. That's a roller. <laughs> that's a kid, roller kid. I couldn't tell. <laughs> I thought that was like, oh, I thought that was hair. Don't ask why I thought that. Just, yeah. Just, just let it, let, let it, let it be. I will say, oh, Shadow Pokemon? Oh, a Slugma? Eh. I mean, I'll catch it, you know, for the Pokedex and whatever, but... 
Yeah, let's go. Uh, I'll just do reflect, because why the hell not? Yeah, but I'm, I'm a, I'll catch the Slugma. I'm not the biggest fan of a Slugma. <laughs> you know. Oh my god. Makuhita, buddy. Calm down. Alright. Okay. Level up. Uh. Igly buff. Okay, let's go. Let's just catch the Slugma first. And then. Wow, we That did a lot of damage. Okay, buddy. Do you not have thick fat? Oh no, are you kidding me? Oh no. Do you not have thick fat? What is your ability? I don't remember. Oh, he does have thick fat, and he still got burned? That's very interesting. I thought that prevents burns. But that flamethrower did a lot more damage than I was wanting to admit. Uh, okay, well, I'm just gonna heal him. Because, you know... But if what? Wow, that's annoying. He's gonna he's gonna faint. <laughs> you know what? Let's just switch him out for Omrion, and then I guess I could try catching it. I mean, it's a Slugma. It should be it should handle up. I should be able to catch it at full health with no problem. Yeah, that should not be a problem. One, two, three. Oh, I was not worried about it. All right, yeah, that was easy peasy. All right, let's go handle this. Charm? You charming? Oh well, Umbran doesn't need, doesn't care about. Oh, doesn't care about that because bite is special. So. Yeah, let's just bully the rest of these Pokemon. No problem. <clears throat> One thing I will note, the battles are very slow. <laughs> because it's like double battles, so it's not like 1v1 where you could just snap your fingers. I feel like, like the whole battle system is really like deliberate to like give that cinematic feel. Which is something I kind of wish Scarlet and Violet did do. And to an extent, Sword and Shield. To give it more of that, like, cinematic kind of battle. Because I remember, like, Battle Revolution had, like, an announcer and everything, too. I, I do believe Pokemon Stadium did that as well. Stadium 1 and 2 did that as well. They had, like, an announcer for, like, the battles and stuff. And it kind of just add to that, like, really, to that immersion. Um. The hell? This Swablu. Get out of here. What are you... Wait, what? I should have been able to knock out that Swablu. What the hell? <laughs> uh, yeah, let's just... Yeah, let's just do that. But luckily, I, I am playing this. Okay. Only 108... I need money, man. Okay, everyone. We've all had our fun. Until next week, farewell. Why do the trainers here have those strange Pokemon? I'm sure of it now. The town's hiding a big secret. Alright. Oh! Oh, okay. Oh, there's more trainers. Okay, well, you know what? I'm gonna go... heal up first, because Makuhita took a pounding. <clears throat> Alright, who's next? You, maybe? Oh, you wanna battle me? Sure thing! Battling fans are always welcome. Alright. Let's see what you got. Bandana guy Divil. <laughs> I swear, these names... I feel like they all come from, like, a random name generator. Oh, another Shadow Pokemon. Oh, Quagsire, okay. You know, I wouldn't mind using a Quagsire. You know what, I'm gonna call him first, and then... Confusion? I, sh I, sh I shouldn't have to, I shouldn't be able to one-shot this thing. There we go. I don't think I'll be able to one-shot this Quagsire. Oh yeah, he's a bulky boy. Even made even more bulky because... <gasps> I got cross-chop, yo! That's... that's kinda busted. 
That's a really powerful move. Yeah, okay. Surf? Holy shit, he's got Surf. Wow, okay. And this is like Gen 4, this is Gen 3 Surf, so it doesn't attack everyone. It just attacks the opponents, so that's really, really cool. Uh, let's go grab that Quagsire. <laughs> oh, man. Never mind, I don't need a... I, I would I would be okay with using a Quagsire in my party. I love Quagsire. Such a derpy face. Aw, oh, what? Damn it. Okay, well... Well, we'll try again. We'll willow down its health a little bit more. Get out of here. Oh my god! Okay. Alright. Uh, let's go to Bayleaf, <laughs> I guess. And I'm gonna heal Makuhita. And, ah, man, I don't want to hit it too hard. Well, Bayleaf only has Shadow Rush. <sighs> nah, let's just try it again. It should be, it should be, able, it, yeah, it shouldn't be too hard to snag. Come on, stay in the ball, Mr. No Arms. Easy. There we go. Okay. Well, I have to go back and heal again. <laughs> You're way tough. We gotta battle again. Okay, who's next? Uh, if you're try talking to anyone in the dual square, there's only one answer. Oh. <laughs> okay. Ryder Leba? Alright, ma'am. Is it? Skip Loom and Oddish. Which one's the shadow Pokemon? Please tell me it's the Oddish. Ugh, ew. Skip Loom, really? You can keep that. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry to any Skip Loom fans. Like, you can keep that Skip Loom. I'm sorry. But I guess I'll catch it for the Pokedex. Oh, <laughs> that, hit, that hit a little hard. That hit a little too hard, you know what I'm saying? Ooh, I'm... Oh, really? Really? Come on. Oh, his eyes. That's so cute. Both of my po- Alright, whatever. Alright, Skip Loom's caught. Ooh, Death Stocks, okay. Oh, Makita in the hyper mode. No, I gotta call it out. Then... Fusion. Ow. Man, everyone's just ganging up on my Makuhita, man. Like, goddamn. Oh my lord, Jesus Christ. Okay, well, I might as well just take advantage of the hyper mode. Come on, wake up, Espeon, damn it. Okay, I'm gonna switch him out, and I'm gonna bring in... I guess I'll bring in Slugma, just because it's a fire type. And then take out that Oddish. Wow, it's been so many turns, and I have yet to sit there and wake up from sleep. Are you kidding me? Finally. Die. Oh my god, that's... Oh, that's so annoying. Sleep Powder does not have... is not that accurate. I know that for a fact. Goodbye. And goodbye. Oh, that was annoying. Jesus Christ.
That was annoying. <laughs> that was really annoying. Oh, that was an incredible battle. I simply love strong guys. That's L-O-V-E. If you ever get the urge to battle me with me again, I'll always be here for you, honey. Alright, what kind of Pokemon do you have? Oh, boy. Oh, a street performer. Huh, okay. Well, let's see what you have. Flaffy and Shroomish. All right, let's see what they. Let's see which one's the shadow Pokemon. Ooh, I will. You know, I kind of want to. I kind of want a Flaffy. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I kind of want a Flaffy. Uh, that's Helping Hand. Let's take out the Shroomish first, and then we'll go after Flaffy. All right, Slugma, do your thing. Aw, oh, that little run-up <laughs> with the tackle, that's so cute! Oh, really? <sighs> I hate, I hate that whole fever pitch shit. That hyper mode shit, I hate that so much. It's so annoying. Because it comes at the worst moment, like, ever. And sometimes it does it like two, three times in a row, and it's like, bro. How are you this upset? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, uh... Um... Yeah, let's just return the Flappy. Oh yeah, Flappy will take it. Ah! Oh my god. Can you not be in hyper mode every chance you get? Jesus Christ, buddy. Yeah, let's... Yeah, let's get rid of this damn mushroom. Goodbye. And you're dead, because I couldn't heal you, because you were in hyper mode. Because for some stupid reason, you just kept doing it every fucking turn. That's... Mm, I'm not a fan of that. Really not a fan of that. And now I can't even touch you, because you're gonna knock yourself out or some... Mm. Oh, yeah, I'm not a fan of hyper mode, whatever that is. That's... That is a very annoying mechanic. Not gonna lie. It's probably... I'm not going to be a fan of this, because it comes out at the worst possible moment. Especially when you're trying to, like... It's great for, like, you know... Trying to, uh... <clears throat> you know... Lower the darkness gauge further, but it's not great when... You really want to have them attack, but they can't because... All of a sudden, they get a... They get angry, and it's like, okay, but, like... Can you not? Now nah, this should be enough. Hopefully. I don't know, I guess I'll just... Blah. There's not much I can do. I'll heal. Now, get the damn ball. <laughs> I kinda want you in the party. One, two... Three. There we go. All right. All right. That wasn't so bad. Okay. Yeah. Not a fan of the whole fever pitch thing or hyper mode. You're surprisingly good. I think you deserve to know a little secret about a certain Pokemon move. The move Shadow Rush inflicts damage on any kind of Pokemon without being affected by their types. The amount of damage doesn't vary with the target Pokemon's type, so it's easy to use. Yeah, but it's also... what at what cost, you know? It's kind of... yeah, I don't know. Not a fan of the whole shadow thing. It's an interesting mechanic, I'll give him that, but other than that... Okay, one more trainer, and then... I think... I think we got all the shadow Pokemon here, then. Alright, let's do this. Rider Nover? Nover? What? <laughs> These names. <laughs> oh, I wonder what the Shadow Pokemon could be. It better not be Lediba. I'll be real mad if it was. I'll be like, oh. 
like the urge the the urge to just not catch that at all <laughs> it's like no because <laughs> i know this ain't no rom hack so oh it's a it's the knockdown okay thank god jesus all right you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna yawn that knockdown and i'm gonna take out the lediba There we go. It's almost done. Shadow Rush. Uh. Ouch. Yeah, maybe... Maybe I ought to put... Comet Punch? Okay. How many times? Two times? Okay, oh, that's not so bad. Oh, it has Insomnia! Oh, of course you do. Of course you have Insomnia, because why not? <laughs> Alright. Alright, Letty Biz out. Now we can focus all our efforts on Noctowl. Oh, you have a Wingle. Okay, maybe not. Reflect. Hmm. Hmm. Eh, hmm. Alright, yeah, that, that Reflect definitely matters. Uh, I guess I could go into Flaffy, and then Espeon takes care of the Wingle, because physical attacks are not going to work for now. Alright, let's just take out the small fry first. Oh, yeah. Oh, why did it nosedive like that? <laughs> oh, that's so sad. Oh, is that fly? Oh my gosh. Uh, well, hopefully you attack the Flaffy so that way I can... <laughs> so that way you can get paralyzed or something. Wow, it has access to fly. That's kind of cool. Ow. But that does a lot of damage, so... Shadow Rush again. I'm gonna heal. Espeon. Hypnosis! Oh, joy. Ah, uh, boy. Damn. Okay. Well. We're slowly but surely willing it down. Slow and steady. As long as I don't get any crits, I'll be happy. Oh, hyper mode! Mm. Really? Really? I nah. I do not know why it's not. Okay, that should be enough to catch it. I'm surprised it's not throwing hypnosis on both my Pokemon, like that other trainer. But I guess that's just the AI. <laughs> Alright, let's snag it. Come on. Alright. Alright, easy peasy. so bad. Right then, I like your style. Here's a useful tip. If a Pokemon goes into hyper mode, its attacks become more likely to be critical hits. What a surprise, hey? Yeah, but the problem is, they do it in like the worst possible moment. It's so annoying. <laughs> it really like trips up my whole strategy. Um, are there any other... Does she have one, too? 
Oh no, she, I guess she doesn't have one. Okay. Did I fight you? No, I fought the kid up here. I don't think I fought this guy yet. Yeah, I don't think I fought him. Oh yeah, definitely. I do not re remember this. Okay. Oh. Ooh. Ooh, a ghost type shadow Pokemon. Okay. Uh, you know what? Let's go after that Mistreavus first. Yawn. Uh, confusion. Mistreavus is kind of squishy, so. Um, never mind. Oh yeah. Woo hoo! You got Shadow Ball. Oh my God! Damn. Okay. Okay. Maybe I should have been a little more cautious. And should have just switched, but okay. Alright, just gonna yawn you. And then I guess Shadow Rush to Skitty. Uh, yeah, let's just bite. Let's just gang up on the Skitty. Because this thing's gonna be annoying. Ooh, I made it flinch? Aww. Let's Shadow Rush you. No, wait. No, I should just Shadow Rush the Mistrevious. And bite the Skitty. Oh, come on, really? I really want to catch this thing. But I'm afraid Umbra might kill it. Oh, that. Three times in a row. God, I love Pokemon. Don't you love that? <laughs> Three times in a fucking row. Uh, four times in a row. You just, you gotta love it, man. <laughs> you just gotta love it. Uh, yeah, there's no way my Umbron's touching this thing. You know what, let's just tr throw a ball. Fuck it. I, I don't care anymore. I have, I have more than enough money to sit there and throw around. Well, there you go. More Pokemon to my arsenal. Alright, well, I do believe that is all the trainers here. I think that's all the Shadow Pokemon I can catch, right? Wow, that was easy for you. Losing like that snapped me out of my hyper state. Did you know if a Pokemon goes into hyper mode, call its name, and its head will snap back into reality? Oh, okay, so. Yeah, I, I, I kind of knew that already. <laughs> okay. So I'm gonna go heal again, and I guess we'll continue exploring? Okay, let's go cross the bridge here. There's probably gonna be even more trainers to fight. <laughs> hey, that's scary. You take a look down there, it feels like you're, it's gonna suck you right in. This crav crevasse runs deep under the ground. You can't even see the bottom from here. You see, Pirate's an old mining town. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh... Hey, big guy. Ah, I choked. I let victory slip from my grasp at the last knockout challenge. And it's not just once either. It was the time before, and the time before that too. If I wasn't a guy, I could cry. Hey, I know what to do. I'll go ask Pyrite's mother. I'll ask her when I finally win that challenge. Mother? Who's mother? All right. I guess this is the. This must be the Coliseum, right? Oh, yes, it is. Uh, I need to make some extra illustration. I've heard rumors that if you win the challenge, you get an awesome Pokemon like Kale, like that Kale did. Oh, she's what am I saying? You have to keep that a secret. Pretend you never heard me, okay? Wes, wasn't it Kale, that guy who was hanging around the town's entrance? We should ask him. He might know something. Oh, okay. Oh, finally, I can heal my Pokemon without paying a hundred bucks. Oh, thank God. Who? Uh, I guess I am. Yeah, let's go talk to that Kale guy first, and then I'll end up. End off the episode. This was didn't feel productive, but be, that's because we just had to battle so much. <laughs> There's so many battles. Hey you, huh? What's that? You wanted to know if I have a weird Pokemon? <laughs> if you want to know that much, you may as well see it with your own eyes. So I figured as much. All right, Mr. Rogue Kale. 
Furret and Ralts. Oh, please tell me the Ralts is a shadow Pokemon. Please! Please! Ralts is like my favorite Pokemon. Oh, please. Please tell me the Ralts is the shadow Pokemon. I would like... I would like... I would gladly trade Rui for a Ralts. Oh, it's a Furret! Ah, oh, fuck you. Ah, oh, da, da, da. No, I guess it wouldn't be that easy, would it? Da, I'm so mad. <sighs> Get this thing out of my sight, then. Get out of here. I don't want to see your face teasing me like that. Oh, that's just. Ooh. I'm, I'm so mad. I'm sure I'll get it eventually. I'm sure we'll get a uh, Ralts or something eventually, right? Like, they can't just do that. Alright, let's go yawn this stupid ferret. <sighs> oh man, that just, that just puts a bad taste in my mouth, you know? Alright, let's go switch to Umbreon. Because that ferret hits way too damn hard. Oh, Shadow Rush, hello? Oh my god, why is this Furt doing so much damage? The hell? It's a stupid fur. Oh, because it's level 33. Well, that, you know, that does... That does explain a lot, not gonna lie. Well, now it's sleep, so I don't care. Uh... Yeah, let's go for this. Let's bite the ferret. Then we'll try and catch it. Damn, that really doesn't do a lot. Alright, we got rid of the Ralts. Get this thing out of my sight, I don't want to see this thing. Ugh. CDOT? Okay. Uh... Nah, let's just... Let's just deal with the fur at first. Rock Smash? Well, I did nothing, because that's... Alright, let's go catch this stupid fur at... <sighs> it's just, uh... Uh, do I need to heal? Nah, we're fine. Let's go after the C dot now. What really? Oh come on. Oh. Yeah, we're gonna have to. I think we should be able to take care of the C dot. That's biting. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, my chop. My chop's pretty cool. I like Machop. Uh... I'm just gonna switch. Because I know it's gonna come after my Umbreon. Like, what? it would be stupid not to. But, I have that sneak suspicion it's gonna go after my Umbreon. Yeah, I figured, I figured as much. I knew you were gonna come after me. After my Umbreon. Like, I'm not an idiot. <clears throat> yeah, Shadow Rush. Alright, well, we got his Pokemon. M -m -m my Shadow Pokemon! Yeah, sorry, pal. Can't let you run around with that thing. Or maybe I could. <laughs> Bow! That was it? That lying mirror bee? He came up with that fancy, tough sounding name, Shadow Pokemon, but it was no big deal. You guys be careful, too. Don't be played for a sucker. They'll... That's about all they'll give you if you win at the Coliseum. Shadow Pokemon? That's what it's called? A Shadow Pokemon? That Pokemon with the black aura? Alright. Why did it zoom up there? Oh, that's why. I trust things are going according to plan, Mirror B. Oh, yes indeed, Mass and Ascor. Our plan is coming along in a lovely, peachy keen way. We have already broken Duke King's spirit. We can do as we please at the Colosseum without his meddling. 
We've been giving away Shadow Pokemon on the slide to challenge Winner for gathering data. Good. The others also appear to be doing their part to implement our plan. Our Shadow Pokemon plan is falling into place quickly. The final phase is not far off. Whoa! This is perking up my spirit and body. Ooh, I feel like dancing. Save your dancing until our plan succeeds. I'm off. Look at that Kingdom Hearts dude. <laughs> okay then. I shall make my return to the cave where my darling Pokemon await my return. Let the music play. Oh. Okay. It looks like the Colosseum has a secret. I guess there's no choice but to take part in a battle challenge there. And we will do that in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, comment, maybe subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys next time.